So you are wanting to rip and set up three, three D models from Pokemon. I'm going to be working on Pokemon. Uh, not where is it? Heck, uh, Legend, Legends Arceus. I'm going to work on Legends Arceus models as of right now because that is the one I know the most about. So what you want to do is grab these two, the manuscript and the the effect, the the NTX to DDS file and the. TRMDL model max script. You want to grab these, download them, and then head over to the Pokemon Mega and map Mega folder. Grab what either one of the either three all three of these or or in one individually. I will be working on the Pokemon since that one is the most complicated, and also refers and also helps with other things too that other uh that the other files have so once you've grabbed those you will also need 3ds max noesis and quick bms those can be found just by googling it or something else you by just by googling it would, would be the easiest option so once you got those load up 3ds max and it takes a while Anyway, once once 3ds Max has been loaded up, you will see this screen. What you need to do is go to scripting. You go script. Eh, stop scripting. Run script. Go to wherever you download the files. As for me, it is in my PKMN folder. And right here, you need to double click this or click open, and it will pop up with this. So import DML. It will actually bring you to somewhere what you need to go do is go back to is go to the, your pkm go to your uh, download where you've downloaded your files scroll in here and then i'm going to go in pokemon in here and let's choose uh, let's see 157 which is typhlosion i see in typhlosion but even still Oh, you'll see over here it is flashing. That means it is loading. And now it's, it is all loaded in. You see here, it is human typhlosion. So, once that's done, control A to select all of it. Go to file, go to export, export selected. And then make sure that you are in the correct folder. Doesn't really matter where, but I'm going to output it to my the fo folder where I floated in that. So scroll down to 157 and type in. Okay. Okay. And now it is exported into an FBX. So let's go over here. Pokemon, Pokemon, and scroll way down to 157. And then now we have a Typh the Typhlosion FBX. So we also have these files. I'm going to get rid of these because I have a new way to do this. Well, I this is the way I like to do it. But anyway, you want to open up Quick BMS, go into your Whoever quick BMS is, I'm going to choose same folder because I don't like how it works. And then we, this is, it's like input archives, Pokemon, Pokemon, 
I'm going to go to one key seven. Click star again, press star, star. Shift eight. Open and then the output folder. Go back to the same to the same spot. One key seven. And save. As you can see here, it export all, all of it exports into DDS file. Now, seeing at these, they are looking weird, and some of them don't even have a preview image at all. Now, we can fix that by going to Noesis. Noesis, Noesis is slow to open, but it will open. Once it's opened, we go back to Pokemon, PLA Pokemon, Pokemon, find 157 again. Gonna click that. And then it loads everything up. You can see here, it looks fairly. You can, see, you can see all the textures and stuff. So now that you have that, have all this, you can see how they look completely fine. This is because the DDS files are not technically corrupted, but they are just in a different format that what than what my uh, Sage Thumbs code can read. So what we do is go into patch process, DDS to PNG, and then we just take out this bit, and then take out the out right here. That way there is no out at the very end. And then we uh, click folder batch, click 157, okay. Now here we have it, and export. It loads, and then it says it's done. So now we go back into here, and you can see that we have all of the files. Now, this is the part where Blender comes in. Blender direct. Open Blender, delete the delete those and then go to file import FBX go back to where the Pokemon file is to where as explosion is p7 explosion FBX and there he is RX 90 equals and he's on the he's fixed basically <laughs> so this is zero. So now we can see how he has all these bones taken out. This is the armature, and it will always look like that when importing to Blender. You can hide that. Now you can select different parts. If you want to do is right click, vertical split, click that, click over here, shader editor. So now we have the shader editor open. Go down here, and you can see all the stuff. It, all everything is connected which is often inconvenient, but for this, we do not care. So Z material, or just click up here. And now we can go over here and, and move stuff over, or we can just go to a texture, image texture, open, scroll down, click on here, and see all the textures. I see here that the DS do, does actually appear. We are going to ignore that for now. Now plugging that in. Up here, no. Okay. It likes to do this sometimes. Anyway, Shift T, open. A O. Okay, so it's not using these texture specific that material specifically. This is often a common occurrence. So. Texture, but you are not showing up. Strange. Strange indeed. A 
oftentimes this will happen and it is extremely annoying. Why aren't you like this? What secrets do you hold? Yeah, it will often be like this because it is stupid. So anyway, going back onto this. This, okay, just open that up. I'm really annoyed with this right now. Figure out your secrets, old man. is working, but apparently it hates this. So, hmm. One moment. So it appears that I'm an absolute idiot and forgot to click to do this because apparently the rest of them do have that enabled but apparently the body didn't which is really frankly annoying so now that we have everything settled we can go along and continue this go back on there that, and now we should be good to go there we go all right so now we have the AO no, let's click this and you should be annoying. Ah, uh, there we go. Now you see this, that shouldn't be there. The reason is, is because the UV is whack to uh, say it like that. Because this needs to be ASX2GX.5. And it is because it is only half of it. The way we can fix that is by doing what I just did, but on a separate UV channel. So once we have that, and we make sure up here, A, wait, yeah, wait, it's ASX2, enter, GX.5, enter, and now we come to this very annoying part. We have to select all of these, including the middle ones, make sure that none of the parts on the, there we go, G, because this one, this part is really nice, we actually have to make sure that this is on the line, that way we can have it easier, Us whenever we flip it, so once we have that there, we can right click, mirror X, and do, do that, because we forgot to set something, this 2D cursor, mirror X, and it mirrors perfectly. So we go back to the layout. We need to do a uh, shift A, input texture, not coordinate, UV map, just like that. Plug into there and UV map. So now it should work. There we go, it has, because it is its mouth, but you have a line, why do you have a line? Occasionally things like this will occur, and it is because you are SX. There we go. We're around, and there we don't go. Nothing's going as planned. What a surprise. Just this tiniest bit left. Layout. You need to move it a little bit more to the left. G X. There we go. It looks good now. 
these are just minor things that you just have to do sometimes because it is just really annoying most of the time. So body A, O, shift A, color, makes RGB, plug that in, makes multiply, plug that into one, plug this into here, wait for it to load, and set this to non-color. Turn on the speaker because that's annoying. You'll see parts of it will become undark darker and lighter whenever I put makes these two values. So once you have that, we need to get down to the texture assignment, which will be a, the LYM file. This right here, LYM. I don't know what it stands for, but I call it texture assignment texture or the die map. Mix RGB, plug that in, shift A converter, separate RGB, plug that into there, press N properties, make sure you're in the node tab, and click the channel packed. That way it will show up correctly inside of the side of here. This color, and you can see the color is correct, and then the alpha. Alpha layout. Now we separate the Plug this to R. See what that does. Set this to red. And here we go. A little bit of. Ah, uh, but you see that it is in weird spots. That is because it also uses the secondary UV map. Once you plug that in, it should look good. See, and there we go. It is on the. It's little firings. I'm using the slash. The slash, uh, slash question mark button to do that. It separates objects into single objects. Bring quick view and frame selected. Hmm? No, that's not right. Hmm. Oh well. But it's just one of the is right next to the sh right shift button. So now we have that, our, and then we set this to G green. And there we go. Move all this over once more. B. And then we have the final, which is Y or A for alpha. So this to yellow is the little teeth. So as you can see, it has one, two, three, four different colors. Now that has that, we can move on to the next, next part, which is the normal map. Plug that in, set it to non-color, and there we go. Now another note is that this creates little bits that are white around the, around the edges. You can see right here. Plug in that in will do that. But I'm not going to go into specifics on how to fix that as of currently, because that requires some really specific node stuffs that I'm just not putting in a video. Make sure there's no more textures, the normal I and we can we are good with the body. I'm going to leave it RGB for now because I because uh, I don't know its colors and I will have to actually look up some images online as references to find the actual colors. So we go into the eyes now. Shift A, uh, texture, image texture, open, scroll down, open here, and then we find I albedo. This just means that it is not really. Oh, that's interesting. That is really cool. And that is probably a mask of some sort. Plug that in, plug that into there. Shift A and Shift D. Duplicate 
duplicate it for i dot by lim. Set that to channel packs. The way to open that side menu is through the n key. It's a little bit late to be saying that, but even still, we find the uh, does not have an albedo tech not albedo an AO texture, so we do not need a multiply. So now it's converter separate RGB image. Set this to R. Color this as red. Duplicate. Set this to that to green. Plug in the green. Duplicate this. Take out specular because that's always annoying. Set this to blue. Plug in the blue. Do it one more time. Take the alpha, plug it in, set this to yellow, not green, yellow. And there we go. We have the entire eye. thing so I will add this to act as a mask of some sort black move this all over here duplicate this set it plug in right here set this to black I don't know exactly what it does in game because I don't have text closure, but it works well enough. Duplicate this, open it, and set it to the normal map. Color, non color, there we go. See, we have the eye now. Now, what we want to do is shift is slash select, control, copy, and control C. Right here, take out this angle V. Now all we have to do is just plug this in and plug this in and the eye is already completed. Easy and simple. Now onto the fire, which will be a little more confusing or not at all because it, it has a few noise textures. So texture, image texture, open, scroll down, fire albedo, fire limb. Okay, that is rather interesting. So, what we'll need to do for the fire is do some funky stuff. So, for now, we are going to ignore that texture for the time being as we do some other stuff. That up, fire limb in, set that to channel packs, and it appears. So we converter separate RGB, shift A, color mix RGB. You all know where this is going. Uh, shut up. Stop that in, move you out of the way for now, and then plug this in there, so that's black, set this to red, set this to green, plug that in, Uh, 
RGB. And then we duplicate once more. Set it to Y. Do the editing check to see what the line looks like. There it is. Oh. That's just rude. Not with that. Color. So there is just nothing in the alpha. Good to know. Nor is there in the blue that I can see. It's only R and G. I'm still going to keep the blue and Y. All right, so now we have fire. There is some fancy effects going on at the same time, I'm fairly sure. Yep, fire mask. Which, if using the correct texture, Yep, with correct UV map, not texture. Would would look something like. Oh, you look ugly. Hmm. Probably do need to control T. Size up three point five. No, size up two. Put UV map right here. Hmm. It really depends, honestly. But so far, it looks good. Now, for the colors, I'm going to ignore the noise texture because that's just going to be a pain. Now, for the colors, what you need to do is find a reference of Typhlosion. Plug in here. Boolean Typhlosion. Images. Please work. Once we have a type of image that is relatively good size that we can actually tell something from. This looks good. Image a new tab, bring that up. Now we just guess the colors. Bring that to the side, minimize. And so we just bring it up here so y'all can see. So he uses a somewhat purple, purple and somewhat orange, yellowish. So we go in down here. Dark purple. Maybe a little bit darker. That looks good enough. Now I set this to around here. Go. Now it's all coming together. Set the click that with the slash body. Now the red bits are a bit weird orange, well, purplish. It's a little bit off to the side. It's good enough. Take this out just so it looks a lot better. Anyway, I'm going to use teeth, and those are just white. So we have gotten the body down. Now we just need the eyes, which we will need a better image of. Let's see, let's see. You, yes, you're good. Open image, new tab. 
eyes are red with a black center with white on the outside. So is it this two white? red reddish color it would just be pure red set this to black actually because black outlines for eyes are always good and then the inside of the eye is also black So that should be good. Now we just do the same thing on the left eye. Oh, yeah, left eye. Set this to black. Set this to red. Set this to white. Set this to black. Pretty simple, all things told. Now for the black flames, which we will need to see new, a new reference for since not everything looks the same. Hmm. See, in-game reference of its flaring units. There we go. Come on, load. Loaded the image. Now it's Inner flames are redder than its outer flames. So the outer flames are more of a weird pink color that you see whenever you whenever you're missing files. Yeah, that looks good enough. This one is a Yeah, it's just a pure red. And there we go. Although the mouth is still a little weird. Figure out a problem fix for this. But it looks good so far. Well, it is finished basically. It is good to go. Other than the little white problem around here, it's good. So there you have it. The entirety of fixing up a Pokemon bubble for it to work. All done in less than an hour. So, oh yeah, it's gonna be another. You just need all this stuff. But anyway, close that, don't save. And so we are done. Goodbye.